In this lesson, we're going to discuss the accounting equation. You need to know the accounting equation out of your head. The accounting equation says that assets equals owner's equity plus liabilities. Say it with me. Assets equals equity plus liabilities. One more time. Assets equals owner's equity plus liabilities. Now you need to know this accounting equation out of your head. You're going to use it in many different areas in your accounting studies. Let's look at our first element of the accounting equation, our assets. What is an asset? An asset is something that you own, something that is yours, that you can sell, something that is money, something that can become money. In other words, it can be converted into cash. Of course, you can't convert your neighbor's car into cash. You can only convert your own car into cash. So you have to own it. Let's look at liabilities. Liabilities is anything you owe. And remember, you are doing the books from the business's point of view. So if you have an asset, the business must own the asset. If you have a liability, the business must owe the money. Assets are divided into two categories, non-current assets and current assets. Non-current assets are those things that you own that you are only planning to convert into cash after one year. There are things that you plan to use in your business that help you generate money, not things that you are going to convert into cash quickly. Whereas current assets are those things that either are already money or are going to be converted into cash within the next financial year. Non-current assets are things like property, plants and equipment or your fixed assets like your land and buildings, your vehicles, your equipment, your machinery, furniture. You also get financial assets, investments, fixed deposits. All of these you are going to use in your business and not get rid of or convert into cash within the next financial year. You're going to keep them for more than one year from the date of this financial statement in which they are disclosed. Current assets, you've got inventory. Inventory is anything on hand or left over at the end of the financial year. Trading inventory is the inventory that you buy in order to sell. And if any of it is left over, we call that on hand. Anything that is not yet sold is on hand. If you manufacture inventory, then all of those manufacturing inventory items will also fall under inventory, like raw materials, work in process or semi-finished goods, and finished goods. Consumables, those are your consumable stores that are on hand. The things that you would normally buy to consume, like stationery, materials, fuel, refreshments. If any of that is unused, we call it on hand and it'll fall under inventory, convertible into cash. Technically speaking, you could return this to the shop and that give you your money back. Also under current assets are our trade and other receivables. Now my trade receivables are my debtors, the people I have traded with who have not yet paid me and that makes them receivable. Accrued income, the word accrued just means outstanding. So if it's, if it's accrued income, it is outstanding income. That means somebody owes me and that is why it's receivable. Prepaid expenses, exactly what the name says. I have paid something in advance, prepaid, and therefore I've paid somebody else before I actually owed them, so they owe me whatever I've paid for or they owe me a refund. And that also makes it receivable. Any deposits that are refundable, like a deposit for rent or a deposit for water and electricity, that is also receivable. SARS, if he owes me anything, like a refund for VAT or income tax or whatever the case might be, that will also go under current assets. Cash and cash equivalents is anything that is money or the same as money, like your bank account if it's favorable, petty cash, cash float, and maybe even short-term investments. That's pretty much a list of assets that are going to come up in your syllabus. Liabilities are also split into non-current and current liabilities. A liability is something that we owe. So a non-current liability is something that we owe that we are not going to pay back within the next financial year, but we're going to pay back in more than one year's time. Current liability is that which we owe, which we will pay or settle within the next financial year. Let's look at a few examples of non-current liabilities. Those would be your mortgage bonds, your long-term loans, the portion of those loans that are payable after a year. When you look at current liabilities, we're going to compare them to some of my current assets. Under current liabilities, we've got trade and other payables. Let's compare the trade and other payables to the trade and other receivables under current assets. 
Under trade and other receivables, we've got debtors control. Somebody who owes me. So under trade and other payables, we'll have creditors control. Somebody who I owe. Under trade and other receivables, we've got accrued income. Somebody who owes me outstanding income. So the opposite of outstanding income would be accrued expenses, outstanding expenses. Expenses that are outstanding are payable and therefore they fall under trade and other payables. Under trade and other receivables, we've got prepaid expenses. Expenses that have been paid in advance. So therefore somebody owes me what I've paid for or my money back. But under trade and other payables would be income as opposed to expenses, income received in advance. I am sitting with somebody else's money that they have paid in advance, which means I owe them either what they've paid for or I owe them their money back. That's why it falls under payables. If we look further down under current assets, under cash and cash equivalents, we will see bank if it is favorable. So what happens if bank is not favorable? If it is in overdraft, that means we have drawn below the zero. Then our bank is in overdraft and we owe the bank. And the last one is SARS. If we owe SARS for anything, whether it be VAT, pay as you earn, site tax, income tax, if it's payable, it falls under current liabilities, whereas if it is receivable, it falls, or refundable, it falls under current assets.